Welcome in, everybody. Who doesn't love a dose of history? We love him. He needs no introduction. He is here all the time, and we wish we had you more. Historian David Ewing is back. He's the go-to for everything Nashville, and today he's talking about a very important time in Music City's past. Yes, this is the Memorial Day edition of Nashville or Not, and as people celebrate Memorial Day with picnics and outings on the lake, we need to remember the real reason of Memorial Day, which is to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country. So Absolutely. we are quizzing you on that. Great. So question number one, former Union Army General John Logan first established Memorial Day in 1868 to honor soldiers killed in war for the United States. He was born in this city, Nashville or not? Mm, don't ask me what city, but I'm saying no. I don't think it's Nashville. You're right. It yes. was Murfreesboro, not Tennessee, oh. Illinois. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. The <laughs> second question, Davy Crockett died in the Alamo in 1836. He served in the legislature in the capital of this city. Nashville or not? I remember learning about Davy Crockett. That is a yes. King of the wild frontier, yes. yes. If you go to our state capitol, there's a bust of Davy Crockett who served as congressman and in our state legislature right outside the House chambers. Okay, now this is a picture you'll have to see. This auditorium was built in 1925 to honor um, people killed in um, battle during World War I. I am going to say yes, because mm -hmm. I know that picture. It's beautiful. Okay, you're right. It's War Memorial <laughs> Auditorium. I tried to fool it's, you know, by so an interior beautiful. picture. I'm glad you know the War. And in the basement of War Memorial Auditorium, normally there is a military museum. It's being, the whole building is being renovated. So go to the State Museum if you're interested in our war history. Okay. okay. The first African American to die in defense of the United States died in this city. Nashville or not? Oh, gosh. First African American to, to die. I'm going to say yes. No. Darn. That was Christmas Attucks, and he was actually the first American to die during the Revolutionary War, and he died in 1770 at the uh, massacre um, in Massachusetts. 1770. Yes. Wow. Okay, number five. General Frank Maxwell Andrews, the highest ranking member of the Allied forces to die during World War II uh, when his plane crashed, was born in this city and graduated high school in this city. Nashville or not? Ooh, I'm, uh, I'm stuck on Andrews that. Air Force Base is named after this person. I'm going to say yes. Yes. <laughs> he was born in Nashville and graduated from Montgomery Bell Academy, one of our uh... fine people in the Andrews family is still around here in Nashville. Okay, last question. Dear Uncle Sam was a song about a wife of a man serving in the war, and the wife receives a telegram that he had died in, in service to the country. This song was written and sung by a singer who regularly performed in this city. Yes. Nashville or not. Yes, yes, yes. Loretta Lynn. Yes, I was going to say, it. don't dear, ask me who, but I know it's here. Dear <laughs> Uncle Sam. And not only as we talk about Memorial Day and those who died, you know, it's the family members, the brothers and sisters, the husbands and wives, the children. So please remember yes. those who gave the ultimate sacrifice out when you're celebrating this holiday, but remember the real reason we're here. I'd love to ask you, you know, there's so many people that are here in Nashville that are not from Nashville mm -hmm. originally. Is there, and people maybe that are just tuning in that are pretty new here, what would you want them to know about Nashville and Nashville's rich history? Nashville's a city of great people and institutions. I mean, if you're new to Nashville, go to the zoo, go to Cheekwood, go to the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Ryman. It tells the story of the people that grew up here and these institutions. You know, go hear live music. Yeah. We have live music everywhere in the city, and the people are so talented. No matter what kind of genre, there's music for you here. Oh, thank you so much, David. We love having thank you. Thank you, Larissa. David does it all. Check out his Instagram, The Nashville I Wish I Knew, and we will be right back after this.